All right, so in this week of coming to Northern Virginia, we have some crazy new things on the horizon I wanna talk about. Let's just get right into it. Like the craziest thing that is coming to our area. Well, there's a plan for it that's been on the horizon for a couple years now, but there's talks of an indoor winter skiing facility in Lorton and Fairfax. And the crazy thing is they just brought on to kind of get some buzz around it, Bodie Miller, the Olympic gold medal, gold medal. I give you an A for effort. The Olympic gold medal skier to bring on some things. So basically they're talking about the Lorton landfill where it's, they're literally talking about on top of it, building an indoor ski and snowboarding solemn full of like shopping, hotel, all these other things, a complete like, I don't even know, like a complete like snowboarding track, everything. They're having an open house on it this week where they talk more about it. Um, it's gonna be 450,000 square feet with a 1700 indoor ski slope, which would be the largest in America. Um, they originally brought this plan out two or three years ago to the Fairfax County's Board of Supervisors. Um, I really wonder what you guys think about this because I think that this would be huge for our area. It would be really cool to get something like this and we definitely need more things like this in Northern Virginia. It would be unique, 100%, like our own ski lodge. In the summer, you could go skiing and all that. Um, they estimate that would bring upwards of half a million people to the area a year just to visit the area. So, um, and I've been to this area where they're talking about doing it. There's not much over there but the dump. So it's not like it's a bad location and it's right off 95. So. Let me know what you guys think. They said that once it did get approved, they would think the first phase of it would take about two years, or maybe even three years to build. This is such a big project. So let me know what you guys think about it. Again, I would hate to know how much money this thing would cost, but I'm sure it would bring in a lot of revenue to the county. All right, the next biggest thing, I'm gonna be talking about this all the time, I'm sure, is the new Amazon headquarters. I kind of just watch this constantly. There's always news coming around. Um, first of all, I believe they got their approval from the FAA for the height of the huge spiral they're gonna be having going up this building. It's gonna be all glass with trees going around it. So there was a few developments. Amazon recently, which we're gonna show you, released some photos showing what their rendering is gonna look like from the street level. And they plan on having a lot of local businesses, things like that. I know a dog, uh, some kind of like dog uh, bathing place and dog sitting place already get, got in there. A florist got in there, got space in there. So they're gonna have a lot of that type of stuff. The big developments are they keep going back and forth, I guess, with the county or in Arlington, uh, they, or the city. The Arlington keeps telling them we want some more green space, stuff like that. And so then Amazon redoes a rendering. Um, and so obviously it's gonna happen, but it keeps going back and forth. The other thing they unveiled was that there's gonna be a huge underground parking garage, which is gonna be you know, a big ordeal. And I guess Arlington came back to them and said, hey, we wanna see some crazy stuff from local artists and all that to come into the parking garage. So this thing is gonna be wild and unique. Um, Amazon has already hired 3,000 of the workers they expect to work there. Um, they have some, I think they gotta get somewhere near 15,000 to 20,000 people to get the grant they're supposed to get from the state of Virginia. But at the end of the day, um, this, was, this is obviously gonna get done. Um, there's way too much money on the line and everything like that. It's just a matter of getting through these final hurdles. But this thing is actually really beautiful. It's gonna be unique for sure. I'm sure some of the COVID stuff, they don't mind pushing it back a little bit. But let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's gonna be pretty amazing. If you're one of these people coming in for Amazon, definitely hit me up. I know the area well, whether you're looking to look in Arlington or somewhere in the suburbs, all that, I can help you with that as well. But let's keep talking about it. The other thing, one thing I will say is I've heard some people in Pentagon City where it's gonna be located, really tell me recently that their rents are really going up. So if you're in that area, I wanna hear kind of in the comments below as well. Is that something that's happened to you? Um, you've lived there for a long time. The rents have skyrocketed. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be an ongoing trend. All right, so you know this area. For whatever reason, if they can find a place to put houses, they put houses. So we already know that. So two big kind of like things that are going to go down that I know about is there's a big battle brewing in Haymarket. Apparently, there's a community going to be called Utterback. Um, with 500 or so townhouses that's supposed to be, it was already approved and then a lot of people in the Piedmont community got upset about it. So they're supposed to be having some big meetings on that coming up. I believe uh, the developer, the Peterson company already owns the land. The county owns a bunch of the land as well. 
I don't see this getting stopped. Um, I think it's something that they're probably gonna need that housing in the area. The land is already bought up. The roads and stuff are already put in there. So that is one. And then another one I'm following is it looks like in probably the most expensive area in our county or Northern Virginia is Bramleton. There was a 12, there was supposed to be a thing of commercial buildings going over there. Well, another developer stepped in, I believe it's Toll Brothers. And they said, you know what? We want to put 1200 houses here or townhouses slash condos. So that is another community because um, they believe that, you know what, there's gonna be more housing over there and stuff like that. So they're supposed to be adding more retail locations as well. So, I mean, that Brambleton area at this point is becoming like the Beverly Hills of the East Coast. So I expect if that does go through, there is gonna be, uh, that's gonna be expensive back in there, I can imagine, but something like that, I think it's gonna take a little bit of time to get it approved and everything to go through. So those are some other things. The other thing that I know about going on right now is there's more talks of more data, data centers in Western Prince William County as well. Um, there's gonna be some fighting going on. And some of the things that came up with that was there was supposed to be a Loudoun County Parkway that was gonna come through Aldi all the way up through Gainesville to shoot up to Manassas that got shot down because of the battlefield. Well, now that all that land are potentially becoming data centers, everyone is saying, well, why did you close the road down, the shot down that road, and now you're gonna let these data centers come in. So there's gonna be talks of that coming back around the corner. Um, I think before it didn't make sense to have that road, but now it definitely does because it's gonna help people from Aldi and Gainesville connect right up through Manassas to 66 and alleviate some of the traffic. But, you know, I've lived here my whole life, and one thing I know is when the Manassas battlefield gets involved with anything, fights go down. Um, they literally, that was enough to get Disney out of here. So, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think about that. Like, what do you guys think about all these data centers? I know the one thing is, is, hey, look, you know what? That's something that brings in jobs, which I don't know how many jobs go work in a data center, because to me, it looks like a bunch of uh, brick. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like much people walking around. But one thing that I've heard is, wait a minute, wouldn't you rather have that than a bunch of houses and stuff like that? I think in Western Prince William County, though, my opinion is they got to bring in some more businesses out here um, before they keep building all this stuff. You know, they need to have support some of the local restaurants, uh, you know, dance studios, whatever. So, you know, they got to bring in some more people and more jobs out here before they keep bringing in all these data centers. So it'll be limited, but who knows? So that is what is coming on. Again, we're going to be trying to do this weekly as well, as long as there is some stuff getting built around here. So obviously we're going to keep talking about Amazon, all the new jobs coming in, but let me know, comment below what you guys want us to talk about. I appreciate it. We'll see you at the top or from the top.